A brief history of Tilburg University. In 1927, the university was founded by a group of people, including this guy. That's why we named everything after him. It started with five professors, eight lecturers, and 28 students in this building. Olaf was founded. And despite that, people still managed to graduate in 1930. In 1940, World War II started. In 1943, the university was closed for an entire year. To commemorate the war, this monument was made. In the 1950s, a move was necessary. West of the existing building, there was a newer, bigger one. The Queen came over to officially open the place and shake some hands. Also, like true wise men, students traveled by camel. The number of students had grown to 838. That's a lot. Also, people smoked a lot. A whole lot. Hey, the introduction week was fun. In 1963, law and social sciences were added to the study program. In 1969, students started a revolt. There was music, chanting, and daring. In 1971, we got our first female professor. Yes! In 1986, the university changed its name. Students once again stood up to defend their rights. This woman received an honorary doctorate, and the introduction week changed its name. The library got a big update. To celebrate, there were pigeons and this parachute jump. In 2001, the university changed its name again. A year later, there was another royal visit. Kofi Annan received an honorary doctorate. Yes, that Kofi Annan. In 2010, another name changed. In 2012, the Tick Week again changed its name. Queen Maxima came by and opened the Jads in Den Bosch in 2016, where Tilburg and Eindhoven joined forces. As you can see, a lot has happened. New buildings were added to the campus. One disappeared, and we're still building. The campus and university community keeps growing. But this is, this is, no, this is a good idea, I'm going to say.